Australian fur seals equipped with cameras help explore the ocean floor. Australian scientists are exploring the bottom of the ocean using Australian sea lions. Animals equipped with light cameras mounted on their backs reach previously unexplored areas of the seabed, which allows scientists to obtain data needed to develop maps, as well as information about the species living there. Most of the sea and ocean floor remains unexplored, despite the efforts of scientists. Researchers do not know where the habitats of marine animals are, what species live there and what impact human activity has on these ecosystems. To answer these questions, it would take an entire army of remotely controlled submarines, numerous personnel, favorable weather conditions, years of research and a mountain of money. But Australian scientists have found an unconventional alternative. They hired as camera operators. Australian sea lions, also known as Australian sea lions, Neophocus cinerea. This species is on the endangered species list. In a paper published in the journal Frontiers in Marine Science, the team described how they had somehow managed to map thousands of square kilometers of the seafloor to depths of up to 110 meters using eight animals. Only 26% the seabed has been mapped in high resolution. This is partly due to the challenges of exploring the deep sea, where pressure is extremely high and light levels are low. Scientists typically map the seafloor using remotely operated underwater vehicles or by towing cameras behind research boats, but both methods are time-consuming and expensive. Nathan Angelakis of the University of Adelaide and the South Australian Research and Development Institute in West Beach and colleagues tried a relatively low-tech approach in a recent study, enlisting the help of Australian sea lions. These animals spend most of their time feeding near the bottom. The researchers' concept assumed that thanks to the animals they would be able to collect information about both the shape of the seabed and the distribution of habitats there. They attached a kit that included a camera, a GPS locator and a motion sensor to the backs of eight females from two colonies in South Australia. The equipment was designed to be light and not interfere with the animals swimming or affect their behavior. After the project was completed, the equipment was removed from the animals' backs. In total, the animals recorded 89 hours of footage and their range covered approximately 5,000 km square kilometers of seabed. The data collected by them combined with artificial intelligence algorithms made it possible to prepare a map of the seabed. Camera footage also revealed details about the distribution of various habitats and the species that inhabit them. Thanks to the animals, researchers located six previously unknown benthic habitats, i.e. those associated with organisms inhabiting the bottom, including algae meadows inhabiting bottom sediments and sponge colonies. The recordings were also used to assess biodiversity in the mapped areas. The distribution of benthic habitats found was combined with oceanographic data to build artificial intelligence models to predict the location of benthic habitats based on variables such as sea surface temperature and distance from the coast. It turned out that the models achieved an accuracy of 98%. The team also intends to use sensor data to investigate how factors such as depth and nutrient availability influence the distribution of habitats and biodiversity at the bottom. This could help further explore different marine habitats and areas. Data collected by animals provides new valuable information about the bottom and complements traditional methods of mapping and surveying benthic habitats. Better understanding and protecting these habitats is crucial given the increasing human impact on benthic ecosystems around the world.